Have you ever wondered why different atomizers spray differently, especially among high-end niche companies, and you think, well, one's good, one's bad? I'm actually gonna give you a quick brief description to show you in person why and tell you what the reason is behind the difference in the atomizers, so stay tuned. Welcome back here, guys, to Ave Perfumery in Miami. And like I always do when I come here, I get essentially an education in perfumery from Maurice, the owner who's over here. But just wanna give a quick, I've done a full video before on atomizers. It was called the ABCs of atomizers, actually that uh, Maurice kind of gave some descriptions. But I wanna give an updated version, show you the difference and give you a little basic description of, of different sprayers and why they act the way they do. So I'm gonna first show you here. I've got Danger from Roja Dove. This is from the Parfum Cologne collection. And by the way, Parfum Cologne, this is still an EDP. It's an Eau de Parfum concentration. So it's very concentrated. It's a cologne style. That's just the style of fragrance, which means it's citrusy at the top. More of the citrus bergamots, lemons, things like that on the top. But it, don't let it fool you. This is an Eau de Parfum. Now, because of that, let me show you, let me spray it here, and you can see, watch the sprayer. Okay, you see it's a smaller puff. It almost kind of falls out of the atomizer rather than shooting out. And you may think, oh, Roja Dove, they use cheap atomizers, they use cheap sprayers. No, that's not the case. But before I explain, let me show you, this is from Etat Libre de Orange. This is going to be a less concentrated, still a great fragrance. This is Experimentum Crucis, great fragrance. But let me show you this spray. <laughs> you see that? It's literally like a jet spray. I mean, I, I could have sprayed someone across the room with that. Simply the reason why, or one of the reasons why they do this is when you've got something that's got a higher concentration of oils, if you had that bigger, basically that, that type of jet spray. What that means is the hole in the atomizer, okay, is actually thinner. Think about this, this is not rocket science. It's a thinner opening, which causes it to shoot in a thinner line and longer and with more force. If you have a high concentrated oil, that is going to clog up more and give you worse performance on your bottle over time. So, they can't have that. They have an atomizer where the hole is gonna be a little bit bigger and therefore it's gonna come out more in a puff, more in a cloud versus something that's gonna have maybe, maybe it's 17 or 18% concentration, not 20, 22, 25%, and it's gonna come out more in a jet. Now there's a second reason other than that, and manufacturers or, or the maker of the perfume companies, when they're doing this, they design the sprayers, and this is for high-end niche companies, typically quality companies, based on the notes they're trying to get you to smell. So if they're going to give you something that sprays out more and heavy, maybe they're trying to highlight maybe some of the middle notes or the top notes or the base notes, versus if they're going for a jet spray, maybe they're trying to, again, highlight certain components of the fragrance, the dominant notes, for example. So depending on how the spray is coming out and how it's hitting your skin, they are purposely doing that because they are trying to elicit certain notes of the fragrance more than others, typically the dominant note of the fragrance. And just like a piece of music that has a dominant chord that runs throughout the music, every fragrance is gonna have a dominant note that they build the fragrance off of and the chords that are all mixed around or based on. So they're probably using the atomizer there on that principle. So you got two overriding principles, just to summarize real quickly. If you have a higher concentration of oil, you're gonna have more of a puff and a shorter spray. Again, because you can't get the atomizers clogged up, which would happen with concentrated oils, versus maybe a lesser concentrated, even still eau de parfum, by the way, but it's gonna come out more in a jet spray. So don't worry when you get a bottle, if you're maybe disappointed, do a little research, understand the fragrance, understand what they're trying to do, and that's why the atomizer is working the way it is. 
So if you have any comments, questions about that, um, I'd love to talk about it in more depth. And especially if you have experience in, in, in this you know, situation or in these scenarios and what you think, comments, always appreciated. And uh, I will be back soon with another video. Thank you all for watching. This is Joel the Nose coming to you from Osme Perfumery in Miami. Thanks a lot, guys.